Hi, and welcome back to Valium for Shizzle's channel. I um, am so happy with the last project that I did, um, the Warren. That was so much fun. I hope you really liked it. Uh, today, oh, I got purple on my face instead of pink. <laughs> today, we are going to a new location in Annadale in Jubilee Park, also known as the street with no name. There have been numerous ghost sightings here. Um, again, I didn't look it up. I want to go in a bit uh, fresh-minded, as you will. Jubilee Park, a fun name with a good feeling. What is not a good feeling is the old bridge and historic cricket pavilion. Under the ancient bridge has been called a street with no name, a much more ominous name. There have been gruesome murders here and unspeakable crimes. There have been some small boys found dead in this area, as well as some railroad workers. It is rumoured that visitors to the park are overwhelmed and act strangely. Children and dogs are especially targeted. When I was there, I felt drained of energy and did not want to overcome my stay. I did see children and dogs, but thought that they were acting like usual. Children crying, dogs walking around and sniffing. But hey, that was just during the daytime. I don't really know much about it. I haven't been there before. There's a bridge and there's a park. And ghosts. Do -do 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 -do. So this is, um, again, very exciting journey. I normally go with gold because of my complexion and my hair color, even though my hair color is not red at the moment. But I think it looks nice. Thanks for coming to get ready with me. <laughs> I will finish my makeup and I'll see you on my journey. <laughs> Welcome back to Valiant has sunscreen and makeup in her eyes. So I am at a park, I'm not there yet, but the journey so far has been really amazing. I was on top of this really tall hill, it's actually scary going down, but at the top there was this amazing view and there was like all these pretty trees, oh, it was amazing. Uh, I'm going to explore this park and uh, hopefully get to the bridge or the park bit and I will see you later. I found a bridge. It's at Johnston's Creek. So we're not fully there yet. But I think that that's pretty cool. Old bridges always are pretty neat. I am under a tunnel bridge right now. It's pretty dark and cool compared to outside. It's a lot of traffic so I won't stay here long, but love is grand. Oh, this is it. Google Maps just wants me to go up and down more steep hills. Because look at this. I came from around here. I was over there. Like, I've been there. I'm here, Google Maps. I'm here. The Jiri Gamawara apparently means good day. I would like to respect the traditional owners of the land by being on Cadigal country. This land was reclaimed in 1886 and dedicated as a park in 1899. In 1902, it was named Federal Park to commemorate the Federation of the Australian Colonies in 1901. The road was closed in the 1980s and its route is now marked by paving and the replica Allen Truss Pedestrian Bridge across the Stormwater Canal. In 1908, the park was split between the municipalities of Annadale to the west of the creek. Johnston's Creek was named after George Johnston of the New South Wales Corps, who named his land Grand Annadale after his hometown in Scotland. I'm hungry. Okay, I think I found the bridge. It's like right there. It's a big one. Very impressive. Cannot miss it. So let's get to ghost hunting. <laughs> this is, oh, this is cool. Just feels like part of Sydney. Old. <laughs> the bridge. Yep, it's windy. <laughs> it says eh. Okay, the sun setting. I'm feeling a little drained. Let's try. Find a face, hey? 
Where's my phone? Oh, it does. It works with masks. You can see my reflection in my phone. It's tripping me out. All I can see through this camera is my reflection in it. Yeah, anywho, I don't think anything was there. Okay, so I found a location that doesn't have so much traffic. It's still under the same bridge. Let's try the Snapchat again, hey? Still lots of people around. Oh, are there any spirits here? There's lots of people. Are you being disturbed constantly by people? behind me. Say hi. Okay. <laughs> I'm also known as Valley and Fishes. There's a lot of noise. Okay, I don't want to overcome my stay, but I have my tarot cards. I'm going to pull one out to describe the area and anyone that's here. And it is, oh my god, death. That's pretty freaking fitting. Well, death means the obvious, but it can also mean new beginnings and new starts. But in this case, I feel like people are dead <laughs> and their spirits are here. Or maybe they want me to be dead. Don't wish that. <laughs> Anyone here, you cannot come home with me. Okay, we'll put that back in that pile there. Moving on, shall we? So next up, I want to do my oracle cards. I'm just going to pull one card to represent the surroundings and anyone that's here. Get in there. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, duality again. This one seems to be keep popping up. Like there's lots of people here. There are a lot of physical beings that are alive here too. So that is interesting. I will read that when I get home. It is time to look at the shadow and the light in conjunction with each other. Each is as strong as the other and both have positive qualities and learning points for you. The answer to any question is maybe. Perhaps moving away a little will allow a better view as Banana asks that you stand back and look at the horizon. Do not give in to any situation that doesn't align with you at present. So there could be light and dark energies at the bridge. Each is as strong as each other and both have positive qualities, but that also means that both have negative qualities. Perhaps it's asking me to move away and view it as a whole and don't get into any situation that isn't my journey if it's talking about me I keep feeling like these are warnings but I want to learn <laughs> thank you for letting me be in this space I bid you adieu <laughs> apparently there is a historic cricket pavilion here as well so that'll be interesting to check out this is apparently the historic cricket pavilion Okay, everyone's gone. There were people here. And I was like, mm, I need a more than you. I did not even say that. Okay, so I got the same setup as last time. White sage, lighter, lid, burner. Oracle cards. Cleansing crystal. Half a deck of tarot cards. It came like that. It only has the, the words, not the swords, the cups or anything. And my 
weekly clothes. It's a lot more crowded than the other place I was at. Okay, with this cleansing white sage, I would like to respect the traditional owners and anyone that's here. I'd like to cleanse the space. If there's anyone here, come say hi. I'm also known as Valley and Fishes. I mean no harm. Let's do the oracle cards first again. Okay, oopsie. Uh, purification, which is what I'm doing with the white sage. Upside down trust and happiness. You're weary of me, you get it. Worry of me too. But I'm gonna do a reading for anyone here if you'd like to come say hi. I am no expert at oracle cards or tarot cards. I just do it how I feel is best, and that is by no means how you're meant to do it. So I'm going to do a pretty common tarot card layout, but with my oracle cards for whoever's here. Split them into three piles. One, two, three. Left to right. All right. This represents whoever's here. Fertility. Ooh. There is a lot of people walking around with babies. This slides across you. Energy. Cool. This is what lies above you. Memory. Oh. That's a, again, that's cool. And this is what lies below you. Ooh, a ritual. Cricket ritual? This is your past. Ooh, longevity. Longevity. And this is your future. Positivity. Oh, I love that. Okay, this is your work and home life. Trust. It's very important. This is your inner self. Wisdom. Again, love that. This is your uh, worst fears and desires. Courage. Ooh, cool. And the outcome of the reading. Wholeness. Wow, okay. So I'm getting a good vibe from this reading already. Um, fertile land, maybe. Uh, there's some energies here, some spirits that are positive. They have the memory and um, longevity. Dun, 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 dun. A ritual, maybe? They go through the same things um, in their memory. They have maybe some trust issues, or they do trust very openly. They have a lot of wisdom, you can learn from them. They're very, they want to be courageous and they have a wholeness about them. I think that's nice. Onto the tarot card. Okay, so this time with the tarot cards, I'm not doing another spread. I'm just going to do past, present, future and choose one card for whoever's here. Come say hi, by the way, if you're here. But you can't come home with me how it is. Split this into three piles. One, two, three. Left to right. This is your past. Oh, upside down the star. This is your present. The magician. And this is your future. Temp temperance. Upside down. All upside down. Now that could just be because my deck was upside down. I'm gonna look into the meanings when I get home. The Star Tarot card meaning from Biddy Tarot. Upright means hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality. Reversed means lack of faith, despair, self-trust, and disconnection. The reverse star means that you've lost faith and hope in the universe, feeling overwhelmed, a test of faith that you're disengaged uninspired reconnect with what is truly important so i guess what it's saying for here is that 
the spirits don't have any purpose to their existence. They feel like they feel like they have no faith. They're not confident. They're just wandering around aimlessly, I guess. That's pretty sad. Oh, that was the past. So that was the past. And the magician, upright, means manifestation, resourcefulness, power, inspired action. Reversed means manipulation, poor planning, and untapped talents. This is the present. So you are not taking action on what you wish to manifest. Still unsure of how to make things happen. That you're struggling. Oh, you have no idea how to achieve your goals. That you're greedy. You're using manipulation and trickery. Oh, that's really not good. Maybe the spirits here are trying to trick people. They're greedy because they want to see other people miserable. And that's the current present, huh? That's, that's no good. Let's see what the future brings for us with temperance. So the temperance upright means balance, moderation, patience, and purpose. And the reverse is imbalance, excess, self-healing, and realignment. Well, that is very good about the self-healing part because maybe the spirits here can do some self-healing. Hopefully in the near future, they've experienced a period of excess, not doing things in moderation. Uh, they're going to feel stress and tension. Oh, that's not good. But it could also mean that they're going to experience self-evaluation and re-examine their, pur their purpose and their priorities. Hopefully they can find inner peace, inner healing, and be in a place that they want to be. I just feel like I'm at the park. <laughs> thank you for being on this journey with me. And thank you to all the spirits here. I was not expecting that. Some mirrors. This is behind the cricket pavilion. Wait, that mirror is meant to be bad on a haunted site, like cursed or something. Oh, nothing. I'm on the other side. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure where to put my glasses. <laughs> Anything? Nah. Thank you so much for watching, being on this journey with me. The sun's gonna set in an hour. I've been around this park a billion times. I think I've overcome my stay. Um, I might come back another time at night time. We'll see. I love you so much. If you saw anything spooky, let me know. Have a great day.